Hey there, Dennis Cortez here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to use individual strokes in Figma. So if you missed it, in Config 2022, Figma actually introduced individual borders for styling. So if you know me and you've talked to me about components or been on this channel for a while and talked about design systems, you know how frustrating it can be to actually work with these constraints of not being able to set individual strokes on each side. With this new update, we're much more in line with how CSS actually works and it makes it a lot easier to actually build out components. So I'll be going over some specific examples of this today and showing you how to actually do this. The three things we're gonna be going over are what even are individual strokes? When do I need individual strokes? And lastly, I'll show an example of how you use individual strokes. So what even are individual strokes? So before this was actually introduced in Figma, like I said before, you had to edit every single border with one setting. So the stroke can only be set to every single border. You couldn't actually set only a top or a bottom, left or right. But now in this case, you're actually able to set this with these new settings. You may be asking yourself, when do I actually need individual strokes? So like I said before, design systems, components, and especially for product design, this is a huge deal. So before you had to do a lot of hacky different ways to actually um, make this look the way that we wanted it to in terms of getting these individual strokes. But here are some examples of places that you would actually use this. So for iOS, for example, you constantly are wanting these divider lines for when you're using label groups. And within these, you actually had to place a separator within each of these before. You had to create a divider. It had to be this whole thing that you set up and you had to hide and show layers or set up your properties to be very confusing and not able to be changed very easily. So with this new update, you're actually gonna be able to do this. Secondly, another example that comes to mind is if I was actually building out a navigation component, for example, this sidebar, and I wanted to highlight this on the left um, with this container here, there was actually no way to do this. I would have to make a rectangle, set auto layout to push the menu item the right amount away. And then in these that were actually variants of the main one, I would have to actually just hide that container, which again is a very hacky, weird way to do this. And you have to set up a lot of weird things with auto layout in order to get that to work correctly. So instead, you're gonna be able to actually do this going forward. So now that we have all the definitions out of the way, let's get into an actual example of how to use this. So if I was actually building out this menu item that I showed you above, as I said before, I would have to actually place a container and with a fill in here. Um, so creating a rectangle and then hiding the fill with each of these variants. But what I can actually do now is I can select this navigation item. And when I come over here on the right to my stroke panel, I can actually add a stroke. And now in the new update for Figma, you'll actually see this new icon and it's called strokes per side. So if I actually activate this, I can see which ones I actually wanna use. So my options are all, top, bottom, left, or right. And finally, you can do a custom one. So for example, if I wanted some on the left and right, but not on the top and bottom, um, you can actually do that here. So they highlight the left one, the top one, the right one, and the bottom one. So you can use that to build out some custom ones. But for this example specifically, we only need the left border. So we're gonna set this stroke to left. Um, we're gonna keep it on the inside because we want it on the inside of this container. And then finally, I'm going to set the layer fill for this to actually be this blue here so we can keep it in brand and match this and as you can see now i have this highlight on the left but we want to make it a little bit bigger and what you can do now the same way that you did before but for individual strokes is i can actually raise this so let's put it at about six so we can really see that see that it's highlighted for a user and that's an easy way that you can actually set border to any of the containers that you're using um, you can set this to frames uh, items anything that you want so as you can imagine this is going to be so much easier to build out components with dividers um, or building out navigation items that may have a container on the left that you need but really excited to have this change within figma 
much more in line with CSS, going to be a lot easier to work with developers in this space and actually build out components and design systems a lot easier. That's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one around design, Figma, et cetera, et cetera. And you can also check me out on other socials. So if you want to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, um, all the links are going to be down in the description below. And finally, if you are looking to get some new music and want some stuff to listen to while you're designing, um, I actually make music myself, which is great to have on in the background. I make music under Cordio, which is available on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, anywhere you listen to music. So go ahead and check that out. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.